As Nigeria looks to keep pace with the rest of the world regarding renewable energy, the need for transition to a blue economy cannot be overstated. The Chief Executive Officer and Special Representative of the UN Secretary General for Sustainable Energy, Damilola Ogumbiyi, made the call during a meeting with the Minister of Foreign Affairs in Abuja. Ogumbiyi emphasized the need for Nigeria to act fast if she hopes to alleviate 100 million people out of energy poverty through transit into to cleaner sources of fuel and integrate needed renewable into the system. Meanwhile, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Geoffrey Oyama, said the government is cooperating with the United Nations to alleviate 5 million households and 25 million people from energy poverty using decentralized solar energy solutions. Instead of us to be a second-hand dumping ground for obsolete technology, we need to be at the forefront so that our youth will be educated with new cleaner jobs so we can assemble some of these things on ground and more importantly because we're the victims of climate change not the cause of climate change we have to continue this message globally that you must invest in Nigeria for for really for us to hit these global climate change challenges we're more of a gas uh, uh, producing country than an oil uh, producing country. So we're really looking to gas uh, to be probably the mainstay of our economy for some years to come. And if there was a defunding of that, we really would have uh, major economic challenges. And as I said, and 25 million people yeah. using decentralized solar uh, uh, energy solutions. So uh, a lot of these are uh, huge ambition. And, um, and cooperating with her, uh, it's a real game. She's a real game changer <laughs> for us. Um, we, she's bringing these uh, uh, these um, objectives that we're aiming for uh, more realizable.